Hi guys, I'm What Beck Sews and welcome back to my channel where we talk about things all sewing related. Today we are going to talk about some of my March plans and we're going to talk about some fabric that I have bought. So if you want to see some more, stick around. <laughs> So welcome back if you are a subscriber and welcome if you are new. Um, this year my aim was to make videos have at least one go out month, which I failed miserably last month. I didn't manage to get my February makes one up. I've got in the way a bit and I only ended up making the Clio pinafore. So I thought I'd start in March with what I'm planning to make. So a plans video and also a fabric haul that I have done. Now, if you have watched my previous videos, I have mentioned that I've got a lot of fabric in my stash and that I was putting myself on a ban. Well, it's gone out the window well and truly and... I sat and thought about it and just made a decision of, you know what, it's the only thing I actually spend money on that is mine. So if I want to go and buy more fabric, I'm going to go and buy more fabric. The one thing I'm trying to do is be a lot more mindful when it comes to the fabric that I'm choosing. Um, I've chosen colours that I know suit me better and colours that I will wear. So I'm going to share with you what I have been buying and I even got some video footage of one of the shops that I've been into, which is my local fabric emporium. I absolutely love it. It's like Aladdin's cave. I don't think the footage is that brilliant because I was a bit conscious about filming in the shop because it's quite a small shop um, with stuff everywhere. Um, and I was a little bit concerned that the ladies were looking at me as I was uh, walking through with my camera up like this. Um, so let's start with the fabrics that I've bought. Let's do the fabric haul and then go on to the plans. Um, before I do that, let me just tell you what I'm wearing today. This is the Tilly and the Buttons Billy Jumper with an adjusted neckline to make it that little bit lower. Um, it's, I don't know if you can see, uh, you see, look, a cat toy. I wear it literally for being around the house because the cat um, literally clawed at it and it's got a little hole in it. But um, this was the version that I made, the 12 version that I made. It's very, very comfy, but it's quite a lightweight knit. So I've made the dress version and wear it more as a tunic with some leggings around the house. But I do love it. It's it's very, very comfortable. And actually, I, I find it, it it just, it fits lovely. Um and obviously I then went on to make a few more as a result of how this one turned out. Um, so, start with fabric. Now I'll talk about the challenge in a little while as to why I have bought this fabric because a colour that doesn't particularly suit me is yellow, but I am taking part in a challenge which I'll discuss later. So the first fabric that I bought specifically was for that challenge. It's this beautiful yellow viscose with these bright red and green flowers on it. Um, I am making, um, I've got a, a, a thing in mind, I've already cut it out and got it on the got it on the table. I'm off work today, so my intentions are to try and get it sewn up. Um, but this was a lovely viscose. This was from my um, local shop uh, in, in Northamptonshire. And it's called the Fabric Emporium. And when you look at the, when you stand outside the door, you, you don't really think much of it. And then you go in and it's like, wow. So I'll pop some footage in of me moving around. Now, obviously I didn't get much because I was conscious that I was filming. So this video does not well and truly sell the shop at all. Um, but it's got a lot of Indian fabrics in there as well for saris and um, it's got all the embellishments and it's got um, the the beautiful trims that come, come with the, the Indian kind of style garments. And it's it's like I'm like a kid in the candy shop because half of the fabrics they've got in there is just stuff that I love because it's patterned um, or embroidered or you know it's just beautiful but they do have normal fabrics in there as well so they'll have your cottons they'll have your viscoses they'll have stretch fabrics upstairs hidden out of the way you wouldn't even realize it was up there unless you asked um, so it's a lovely lovely shop and it's quite inexpensive. They've obviously got some expensive fabrics in there, but I think that piece of fabric in particular cost me um, £3.50 a metre. So um, I'm quite happy with that and it will do for what I need, but I will go into that one a little bit more. 
Um, so I'll stick with what I bought from Fabric Emporium first, actually, because I think that probably would be best. And then I'll move on to what I got online. So this is what I got today. Sorry, I literally have messages pinging up on my phone. No idea what it is. Um, this is a, um, it's Paisley again. Um, if, if anybody who knows me knows, I absolutely love Paisley, but I've stuck with colours that are meant to suit me. And that is why I bought this. And the colouring's going really funny as I'm trying to show you this, but it's a blue, blue viscose. Um, and it, I would, it's got like a satiny feel to it, a sateen feel to it. Um, and it's got these purple paisley um, sort of prints on it. It's just stunning. And actually when I saw it, I have nothing in mind for this one. I just really, really like the fabric. I got three meters of it um, and thought, I love that. I'm going to get it and um, it will probably go into something in my sort of spring summer wardrobe because it's kind of perfect colours for that. Um, maybe even the uh, Tammy Handmade Brows dress might be a good option for that, I think. I, I, it's got a lovely drape to it. It is viscose, so, you know, probably best thing. So when I was um, when I was talking to the lady, I said, oh, this is lovely. This is a viscose, but it feels like it's a viscose linen. She went, yes, it is a viscose linen, but it's a very lightweight one. And I picked up, let me show you the one I picked up first, because I got the three colorways of this in the end, because I just thought it was all very, very beautiful. So I have the Zadie jumpsuit in mind for this particular one I'm about to show you um, from Paper Theory. Um, so this is the viscose linen it's got it's like a, a tealy kind of royal no it's not royal i'd say it's more of a tealy blue I, you're not really seeing how the color is coming up on the camera it's not showing it completely the way i'd like it to and then it's got these beautiful flowers with the gray leaves and the green on it and then you can see if i hold it closer it's got that kind of linen grain to it um, but like i said it's quite lightweight it, it is beautiful. I can see it's already fraying, so it's going to be an interesting fabric to work with. But um, so that was the first colourway that I bought of that. Um, and because I liked it so much, actually, I picked that one up. I was in the queue and then I turned around and saw this colourway. And I was like, that's my perfect colour. Um, so exactly the same. I only got two meters of this one um, and this one's got like the orangey leaves and then sort of like the pinky purple flowers. So exactly the same fabric, exactly the same, more or less the same print. Um, it's slightly different flower to it, um, but it's in a purple. Um, and I was just like, I've got to have that. And then when I was standing there, I saw another colorway and I was like, okay, I love green. Green really suits me. I've got to have it because it was green with purple flowers. So I bought this one. Now this one, I really don't know what to make with it. I think this is probably my favourite out of the three. I love the purple and the vibrance of the purple, but I love these flowers and, and this colour I know really, really complements my skin tone. So <clears throat> if you have any suggestions on this particular one, it is a linen. I'd have like to avoid making trousers maybe a, oh, maybe another zadie jumpsuit will work with it um or i've just ordered the style arc mildred dungarees pattern but i know that's going to be quite shapeless so i don't know whether that would be right for these we'll see any suggestions please let me know in the comments on that particular fabric because I just don't know. it's just oh you know when you could take a fabric to bed with you that probably makes me sound quite sad, but I really could because it's just so pretty. I just want to hang it over the wall and um, just look at it and admire it. That's how I get about fabric. This is why I'm not complaining because this is how I get about it. So before I go on to the fabrics that I bought online um, that I bought from Pound Fabrics, um, I just want to show you something that I bought from a D stash um, that I want to say Super Barley's. Super Barley's. She's one of the. She's the lady that does the um, Billy sweatshirt on Tilly and the Buttons. She was having a D stash on Instagram, and I saw this and I just I couldn't help myself. It's a double gauze um, fabric, and it's just beautiful. And I think there's two meters of this. Now, 
I don't know what I'm going to make with this. I thought about a top because I do quite like the colour, but it is a lighter weight colour against me than I'd normally go for. Lighter weight? No, lighter. Um, but then you've got the blues. I just don't know. I, I saw a, the Yorkshire girl, a Yorkshire sew girl, um, uh, she posted a video about um, all the things that you can make with double gauze um, and I looked at loads and there was the, I think the Paddington top which was a free pattern by Peppermint Magazine was on there but my um, my my butter, my part of my problem last month was that my sewing machine has decided it doesn't really want to do half the things I want it to do um, and it's quite an old sewing machine I've had it for a while it's been playing up for a while um, now I can't do any buttonholes at all buttonholes are just non-existent on the machine um, and I, I'm, I just need to get the money together to get a new machine um, and as you know to get a decent machine and I do want a decent machine because I use it quite a lot um, it's not particularly cheap to do that so um, I was thinking about the Paddington top for this because uh, I thought I, I really liked it I've downloaded the pattern um, and I've got it saved to print at work um, in AO format um, but yeah it's it's got the I suppose I could do it with a fixed placket down the back so pretend that there's the buttonholes there and just sew the buttons on the outside oh that might be an idea oh that might be an idea for that that or I suppose I could make the Tinian button Stevie um not the tunic but the the add-on version with the big skirt mm. ideas there you have any please pop it in the comments i look forward to reading your comments i've had so many suggestions in my previous videos and i do love them because i sit there and i go oh, all these patterns but i have i have two boxes full of patterns i've just ordered style arcs i've ordered the bob pants again because i needed the next size down because my partner got me it for christmas and it was a size up um and i've so i've ordered them because actually some of the the, the fabric i'm going to show you in a minute i've got them in mind um I've ordered the Mildred jumpsuit. I've gone on a bit of style arc um, buying spree and I've bought one of the woven teas. It's a raglan tea. Um, and then there's a fourth pattern. What was the fourth pattern? I can't remember. But they'll all arrive today. Um, so it'll be quite interesting. I doubt that. I reckon they'll arrive at the back end of the day when I've got to start cooking dinner and my day off's all done. But it's fine because I've got plans. I've got sewing things to get on with. And one of my plans today was to get this video filmed. So instead of waffling at you, I should probably get on with the video. Um, so, pound fabrics. I love pound fabrics. You have to kind of uh, pick and choose wisely when you are um, on there. Um, but they had this beautiful viscose linen. And um, I've got a few viscose linen, so that, and, and it's it's completely by accident because I actually didn't realise this one in particular was a viscose linen. Look at the colours on that. I think that's beautiful. And I am definitely making some sort of um, dungarees. When I was looking at the Mildred dungarees, to be fair, that it, from Style Art, that was what was in my head for them. Um, but I also thought about the Sadie jumpsuit as well. I've got this... Um, I've got a thing, I've got the Zay jumpsuits in my pile of patterns to try and I'm going to get one cut out today. Um, but it, it's, yeah, I'm hoping that I'd have enough. I mean, I've only got two metres of fabric there, but I think with some strategic placement, that would work quite well. But I thought this was really good. I think it was about £6, £6.50 a metre um, when I bought this, um, which was why I only bought two. Um, see, I have a lot of fabric in my stash, but I do like a bargain, which is probably the part of the reason why I have a lot of fabric in my stash. Um, but yeah, so this, and it feels all right. It doesn't feel too bad. It's got a bit more structure than the other two linens have. This one's definitely a heavier weight uh, version of it. But yeah, I just look at the patterns. All of my colours are in there. I'll put in a picture for you of my colours. So you can actually see what colours are supposed to suit my skin tone. Um, and I think it's, it's strange because actually when I look at my wardrobe and I look at these colours, they're definitely colours that I would are, are more drawn to wearing. I mean, I love a print and I love a pattern, but they'll always hold one of these colours in there somewhere. Um, and obviously I favour blacks as well when I'm in work and my navy blues. So I was quite shocked to see how 
true, the the colours that most suit me were to the dress, um, the dress, what am I saying? To what I would normally pick out of my wardrobe and wear and feel more comfortable in or less likely to put on and then throw off on the bedroom floor because I don't like the way it looks on me, which trust me happens a lot. So I was talking about bob pants um, and I have this for the bob pants. Again, it's another viscous linen. It is a red colour. Look at the beautiful grey lines you can see. And again, this was only £6.50 a metre and I bought two metres of it. Um, I think I'll actually end up with some left out of that, but I completely have bob pants in mind because I think the, the drape on it, I, I don't know if you remember, but I tried it in a denim before and I said the fabric was too structured um, and obviously they were a little bit big, so I've reordered the pattern a size smaller. Um, I know I could just do the measurements and take it down a size. I know that's what I could do, but it's just easier to purchase the new pattern. So the last couple of fabrics I've got to show you um, are, again, there you go, you've had a sneaky peek. Let's go with the bottom one then. Um, these are cotton poplins, um, these two of these. Um, and I, again, pattern, purples, blacks, blues, um, absolutely love this. Um, I've never worked with cotton poplin, I'll be honest. Um, I know it's got a bit more structure to it. And I must admit, when it came, as beautiful as they are, I'm really struggling to know what to make with it so i would really really welcome some suggestions for these so that is i've got two meters of this one um and it's literally just got that print all over it and then i've got another one which i had the bakerloo blouse nina lee bakerloo blouse in mind for this um because i like the problem i was like my trial version i made it out of a viscose and i think um, a cotton poplin, it's got that bit more structure, but has it got too much structure? And then I thought about the patina blouse for this one um, from Friday Pattern Company, which I have printed, ready to go, but obviously I've got the buttonhole issue, so that's not really an option at the moment. But I could save it until I get the machine sewn. But how pretty is this? Um, so Emmy, I think, is, is the Insta that she's on. She did a jumpsuit in this. I saw her when she'd got the pat uh, the fabric. I was like, I've just ordered that. Um, this is beautiful. And actually seeing it in a made-up um, jumpsuit, it was gorgeous to see. Maybe I could even go with another Zadie. Zadie. I don't know with quite a few of them, but I do wear jumpsuits a lot in the summer. So the last piece of fabric that I bought is plain fabric. Um, it's a viscose and it's just a navy blue plain viscose. Um, I bought that because um, I need to start building up lightweight um, trousers for the summer in my wardrobe. And these would be perfect for my Safia dungarees. I made a mustard pair of dungarees, Safia trousers. I made a pair of them last year in a um, mustardy coloured um, exactly the same fabric from exactly the same place and I wore them pretty much most of the summer because they were very very comfortable um, and they were cropped so they, they just sort of checked all the boxes. So let's talk to you after showing you all of my fabrics let's talk to you about the challenges that I'm going to do and take part in and some of my plans because it's 17 minutes into this video and I feel like all I've done is waffle at you. So I'm going to take part in the uh, So Yellow for Endo challenge, which is what I bought this fabric for. Um, obviously, yellow is not a colour that particularly suits me. I'm hoping that the brightness of this will um, mean that I can make something wearable. Why am I taking part in this challenge? It's actually a really close to home challenge for me. Um, I'm going to be appearing in one of um, Jess from So What If I Sew, who's organised the challenge. Um, and it's all about raising awareness for endometriosis. I'm going to be appearing in one of her lives, um, talking about my experiences with endometriosis. Um, for those that you don't know, it's a condition that affects um, one in 10 women. Um, it's a condition that is so painful. Um, when it's at its worst. It's where endometrial tissue grows on the outside of your, or on your line as your womb, you can block the fallopian tubes, you get all sorts goes on and it can also grow inside your uterus as well. Um, it can take up to eight years to be diagnosed. For me it was ten um, and I found out when I had a hysterectomy done and that was my way of finding out. Now I'm 35 years old, I'm in menopause and 
I am dealing with all of the consequences of that. Now, this may be an overshare for you, but I had n zero information when I was younger on this. I did no not know what signs I was looking for. Personally, this has affected me most of my life. I am one of the lucky few that um, have not had fertility issues. I got, I fell pregnant by accident after being told I probably wouldn't have children, but not the reasons why, or not that it was endometriosis when I was 18. Um, so when I fell pregnant by accident, it was a really happy surprise and I was quite young. Um, whether I had allowed, if I hadn't have had my children then and things had carried on and, and how bad things got towards um, the, in the last sort of few years, whether I would have been able to have had them or not is another thing. So, and there are lots of women out there that, that are affected by fertility from endometriosis. There are lots of women out there that are suffering lots of pain every month, um, you know, and it's not just around that period of time when you have your menstrual cycle it's, it's not it's a really really important thing guys so if you're not involved or you've not seen the challenge please go over to um check out so what if i so jess channel i'll pop a link down below for you to go and have a look at it and understand why we are doing it follow her on instagram watch the lives because you never know you may have a friend you may have a daughter you may have a niece you may have somebody that you know that is exhibiting typical signs of endometriosis and you could be the advocate to push her to go and speak to the doctor push them to get the information to go off show them where they can look for it because it is really important so so what if i so um and it's jess um, so I'm going to do this, I'm using this and I'm making the iris top, which was a free pattern that I got with a magazine um, because I don't wear yellow a lot. I want to take part. Um, so I'm going to try that, see how it looks on. And then I have got another yellow fabric in my stash that I will go ahead and make something else with if I like it. So that's one of the first things. That's actually what I'm going to be sewing up today. Um, the second thing that I want to get involved in is the So Frugal Challenge um, from um, Yorkshire Sew Girl and oh, I can't remember the other lady that's part of it. I will pop a um, picture up in here of the challenge itself. Now, I want to, um, I've got tons and tons and tons of free patterns that I just keep shoving into my stash. So I am going to be utilising one of them and I have a believe it or not my stash is in order of when I bought it and I've got some really old stash um, of fabrics that were given to me that I've looked at and never really used because it's not something I'd necessarily pick so with the basis of it being frugal um, and the fact that it's been given to me my intentions are to use that to make something so there are two challenges that I'm going to get involved in. I've already got cut out is a, a lotta dress, a Tilly and the Buttons lotta dress in this beautiful green fabric, definitely for spring, summertime. Um, it's been cut for a while, but I'd like to get it sewn up. It's quite a simple sew, so I should be able to do that quite quickly. And I'm hoping that my sewing month goes a little bit um, easier than it has done. So thank you very much for taking the time watching me today. I really, really appreciate it. Um, if you haven't um, subscribed to my channel and you like what you see, please um, subscribe and click the like button. Um, sorry, couldn't help myself. The like button if you like this video so others can see um, what it is that I'm doing. Um, and maybe encourage a few more people to sew or share their sewing journey as well. Um, take care, have a fab month, and I will hopefully be back at the end of the month to show you all of my wonderful or not so wonderful makes. Bye!